Writing Without Thinking About Writing by Peter Elbow. Illustration and paper slide by Abram Marinus and Destin and Diaz. Peter Elbow says to write, when you face difficult dilemmas or problems, write out your thoughts and feelings as quickly and as fully as you can. To digest and remember what you are reading rather than not just taking notes. You would listen or read what they have to say. Write your thoughts and responses after lectures or chapters. It may not cover all points or be as organized, but it will be easier to remember more. When making a speech. When you have to present a speech or talk to an audience, it is better to write what you're going to say instead of thinking it in your mind. It will make you think better and get your thoughts clear from your head. This process will probably enable you to talk in a more relaxed way and make better contact with your audience. Keep a journal. It allows you to write about what's on your mind, your feelings, what happened that throughout the day, and just about anything. It, it, it enables you to write at any moment of the day. Write informal notes or letters. Thoughts that strike you, appreciation for another person, somebody's frustrating you or annoying you. If you want someone to hear what you have to say, it's easier to write in informal notes and letters. It takes the leisure and privacy and protectiveness of writing to permit you to tell somebody what's important. You can tell them your deep feelings or your train of thought. Writing fast and freely about anything. You will discover more assumptions and feelings. Writing your goals, hopes, expectations, and fears allows you to get from what's in your mind to the paper easier. Stuck points, breakthroughs, and final reflections. You can write when you're stuck on a task, forging ahead after a mental jam, or reflecting on the good and the bad, or the ugly. Aiding group process. Write what you hope, think, fear will happen during the project. Write down hard questions and go over it with the group. Perceptions about what was helpful and not so helpful will allow the group to become closer and easier to work with. Writing for yourself. Help work out your thoughts and feelings. Use writing as an exploration and discovery process. We don't have to think about writing, it just comes natural. This allows for writing to become easier and more fluent.